Defining terms, the political spectrum. If you are involved in politics enough, you have heard these terms being thrown around. Leftist, left-leaning, right-winger, centrist. But what do these terms mean? They're referencing something called the political spectrum. It's an axis meant to measure and categorize a person or ideology's set of beliefs and opinions on a wide range of subjects and place them on a spectrum in accordance with how much or how little they have in common with either extreme, on the left side of the spectrum or on the right, respectively. The political spectrum comes from France during the revolutionary era of the 1790s. From the speaker's point of view in the French legislature, the aristocracy sat on the right side of the chamber, while the commoners sat to the left. Thus, right-wing politics became a catch-all term for those who supported the monarchy, while left-wing politics denoted the desire to limit the powers of the king. In 1815, terms like center-right began to describe ideologies that were more nuanced and in some respects had agreement with the other party. By 1871, the left-right divide would evolve into a conflict between those who wanted strong executives on the right or a strong legislature on the left. Around the turn of the century, left and right would become shorthand, replacing reds to denote socialists or replacing other conventional terms such as conservatives. In modern times, the political spectrum has shifted even further. In Europe, it's largely a class divide the left traditionally seeking redistributive economic and social policies, while the right seeks private property rights and defends capitalism. In the United States, the left denotes those seeking government regulation of industry and egalitarianism, while those on the right support a free market, family values, and civil liberty. It goes without saying that it's more nuanced than that, and I have left out some details, but in a nutshell, these are the beliefs. Many attempts have been made to pin down these definitions objectively, as there is no clear consensus on what left and right means. Leonard W. Ferguson measured ideologies by ten factors along three separate scales. Milton Rokich, who I'm probably mispronouncing his name, proposed a two-axis political spectrum, measuring the importance of freedom and equality, respectively. Additional political axes include, but are not limited to, multiculturalism versus nativism, collectivism versus individualism, religiosity versus secularism, totalitarianism versus anarchism. Perhaps the most popular political spectrum is the Nolan chart, developed by David Nolan, which is a two-axis chart that measures both personal freedom and economic freedom. Ultimately, there is no clear consensus on what the political spectrum means. Nevertheless, it remains a useful tool towards categorizing and clustering certain beliefs and is likely to remain so.